of the Beat Dolls. I'm Angie, and um, I hold the guitar and sing. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike, and I play the drums. And I'm Barry, and I play bass. Uh, we have an EP, so it's got four songs on it, and it's called Death of the Party. You know, kind of the opposite of Laugh of the Party. <laughs> I feel like I have to explain that. <laughs> Such a downer. <laughs> Mike, what do you think? <laughs> My personal opinion is... Uh... Listen, listen and learn. learn. His, his per I'm here to tell you that his personal opinion is listen and learn. Yeah, listen and learn is, is my actual personal favorite. So, But Barry... Mine is two of a kind. Yes, I agree. Which, by the way, you can go to uh, Bandcamp and, yep. download them and for get all everything. of our stuff for free right now. Mm -hmm. So, Or, you know, or you can pays, donate. Yeah. Well, you know, we have name your price, <laughs> and if you happen to choose free, well, then... <laughs> you know, you, know, you can do that. You can do that. We, we give away a yeah. ton of free music. That's we do want your money. That's true. And we want your money. <laughs> All of the above. But we would rather you have the music. Yeah. And spread the word. We're just about to start, not this weekend, but the next. We just did a fundraiser and raised a bunch of money because the people that support us are awesome. <laughs> yep. They're we awesome. couldn't do this without without them. We couldn't. We couldn't do it. And so, um, yeah, we start in a couple of weeks. We're recording at Diamond Factory Studios with Travis Bonner, who is. He's just a talent. I don't know. And he's adorable. And he, he did our EP. Um, he had cleaned up kind of a little bit of a mess from someone else. And still it turned out really, really well. But this time we'll be starting uh, from scratch with him. So he'll, he'll be doing everything, recording. I mean, he's going to take it from A to Z. Yeah, so we're really excited. We're excited. <laughs> That's my dad. He, um, <clears throat> he's... Um, He's on uh, Norton Records, and I don't know how you describe Norton Records. It's like a lot of garage punk, some 50s and 60s, um, I don't know, music from like stuff from way back then. Anyway, my dad played music in like the 50s and the 60s, and um, um, he was sort of discovered in like the late 80s, I think. And uh, Norton loved him. Norton Records loved him, and they made a record and. He's kind of got a cult following. It's it's really kind of cool. I mean, he's got fans all over the world. I meet people all the time that are fans of my dad, and people. Will con someone just contacted me a couple of days ago, um, talking about how they were a fan of my dad. And um, look him up. He's on YouTube. <clears throat> he is. He's um, he's a he's a pretty interesting dude. <laughs> he is a lot of fun. He's a, um, a lot more talented than I um, ever realized. Because I thought I was a little kid and I just thought he was kind of weird, and <laughs> and it turns out he is totally weird, and it's awesome. In the, in the best way, he's <laughs> totally it's awesome. weird in the best way. Yeah. It's awesome, yeah. A lot, because <laughs> um, it's kind of like um, if you're not eating or sleeping or going to work. You're probably doing something to do with whether it's emails or writing a song or, or practicing on practicing, your own or something. Yeah. It's, it's 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 like um, it's it's kind of like your your job. You you have mm -hmm. you have to do it. There's no question. You just have to do it. So yeah, I mean, when you're not eating and sleeping or him talking to his wife, <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to. We don't They're have not buried. Yeah. So um, few hours every day. Say. I'd say yeah. several several extra hours a week for sure. Twitter and Facebook for sure. What else? YouTube. We, we have YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're also on a, like a ton of others that we haven't always kept up through the years. <laughs> so like if you just search the Beat Dolls, like a ton of stuff will come up. But um, but the ones we really truly use are um, Facebook and Twitter and uh, oh and then Google Plus we use that too. I think that's connected to it's something. connected to YouTube, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Reverb Nation, of course. But well, we use the Reverb Nation for uh, they have an email list, so mm -hmm. that's how we utilize that. It's not, you know, that's really what it's good for is your email list. Look at Twitter, probably Facebook. I um I talk to people 
all the time. I, I figured out that, or what, well, you know, everybody figured out, but we figured out that, you know, the band, uh, the band pages don't necessarily reach all the people that they used to back in the day, and they changed it to where you had to, like, click follow, and <clears throat> not everybody goes through and does that to all their likes and stuff. So I found that I got more of a response from my personal page. So, um, so I talk to people all the time and all of it is just, just kind of keep me on people's minds and keep the beat dolls on people's minds and stuff. And, and it's a lot of fun actually. I have a really good time doing it. <laughs> Normal being in a band in Austin is normal. <laughs> just yeah, pretty much. There's so many bands. Yeah, everybody in this else band. is in a band, so yeah, it's. Uh, it, I think it definitely humbles you. <laughs> that's for sure. It definitely humbles you. Um, you know, we have some really awesome supporters in Austin. Um, we literally have people that will take us out to eat and hand us money, hand us hard cash to 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 put toward a CD or to, to buy shirts with or whatever. Um, um, I, we've gotten really lucky. You know, when we go out of town and stuff, we do tend, we are treated a little differently. We do tend to get paid for one thing. Um, but that does not happen in Austin. It doesn't. No. But um, playing here is worth it because we have people like that who give such a crap mm -hmm. about us that they 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 come to our shows and they they want to hang out with us out outside and we become friends with these people and i do hair and i've gotten clients from shows i mean we i just i, I don't know i feel like um i feel like you know a lot of people say a lot of things about being in austin but i think we've gotten pretty lucky um the people we've met are just special people i think mm -hmm. and we we appreciate them a lot and had we not been in austin with this band at this time we wouldn't have we wouldn't have those people supporting us and we, we play quite often. Um, <clears throat> maybe like once every other week. February is going to be really busy. Cause we have really five gigs in yeah. February. And we're yeah. recording. So yeah. we're going to be busy as But uh, it's, it's, it's like... I uh, think normally we just play once or twice a month. Yeah. But February is weird. I don't know. February we're playing a lot weird. in February. It's kind of odd. It's the shortest month that's our busiest. Yeah. We have. It's been a couple of years. We we went out to California and came back, and um, that was a lot of fun and a, definitely a learning experience. Um, but we had each kind of done a little bit of touring with other bands before. But um, you know, it was the first time we'd been with each other for a full 14 days or whatever. Um, it was a learning experience, and um, there were some some laughs and some tears and some fighting <laughs> and we want to do it again. <laughs> wow, um, I, I, female in particular, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I just, I mean, as the leader, a leader of a band, what I've learned, I've learned so much having a band. Um, in the beginning, I let my, my, my passion ruin a lot of things. Um, I made a lot of people cry. <laughs> I made myself cry. I didn't understand how certain people didn't have the same passion I had. Um, basically I just had to to learn how to talk to people and understand people and then not everything's black and white and um, and and I think like like learning that learning process in the band has helped me in a lot of aspects of my life, actually, with other people in other situations. And that's that's probably the biggest thing. Everything is not black and white, and um, don't take it personally. And just, um, just consider people's feelings. <laughs> the worst thing about being in a band is it's I it's I don't know it's the worst and it's the best um, I, I always tell people especially when I would have members um, that hadn't been in bands before and I'm like you it's your it's your significant other it's your girlfriend it's your wife it's it's whatever it, it's you have to consider your band when you're making every plan you make every time you go out of town Anything you do, you have to consider this band and what is this band doing and what are they, how are they going to feel about this and how do I say this and stuff. It's, it's, um, 
it's your it's your girlfriend or your boyfriend or whatever. So that's that's probably the best and the worst thing about it. You're kind of married, kind of stuff. Thank you.